Many first-time visitors to the Duderstadt Center find it difficult enough just to navigate the building, let alone find the bathrooms. There's frustration enough these days without all of that, so welcome to the Field Guide to the Duderstadt Center. The first thing you need to know is that most of this building is a library. It's a library for engineering, art and design, and architecture. Traffic gets routed through the security gates. And this is why we have two escalators going up from the atrium and none going down. And why you can't use some of the elevators from the first floor. The building's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And this is great for studying, but it also means you can use our public facilities whenever the building's open. Students can work all night. Four groups share the space in the Duderstadt Center, the library, the Computer Aided Engineering Network, or CANE, Engineering's IT support group, the Millennium Project, Dr. Duderstadt's think tank for higher education, and the Digital Media Commons, offering an array of high-end facilities on the first floor. The library keeps this building open. There's always someone at the first floor info desk to answer questions or check out keys to our reservable facilities when they also check out books. On the second floor, the reserve desk has course materials and special items like CDs and digital cameras and is open from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. The reference desk has all the answers and is open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. This library has one of the best collections of periodicals on campus, both on shelves and online. Just ask them. They also handle the copy machines and small group study rooms. The visual resources collection in the basement has lots of video and still images for viewing or checkout. Kane provides engineering with IT infrastructure and support. They also support our building network. The Kane hotline is on the first floor right next to Groundworks and supports the engineering community and other users of this building. Register your laptop here to get on the full network. The hotline or Groundworks are your first stop for help. Kane also runs the University of Michigan's Authorized Computer Repair Center, located just off the loading dock. They do warranty and other repairs on Macs and PCs, for departments and for individuals. It can be challenging to find, but now you have a head start. At least you've seen it. The Digital Media Commons has some of the coolest things to offer. The Video Performance Studio, an audio studio, electronic music studios, multimedia workrooms, Groundworks, the 3D Lab, training rooms, conference rooms, and the gallery. Need a boost to get back into your studies? Mujo Cafe in the atrium offers coffee, drinks, and snacks Sunday through Friday. Groundworks has so much to offer it deserves a closer look. It's open 24-7, has consultants to help, and is completely free except for poster printing and such. We hope you've enjoyed this glimpse of what the Duderstadt Center has to offer students and faculty. The Duderstadt Center. We care. And we can help. <laughs>